What is up? Today we're going to be talking about Apple. Apple is single-handedly like pushing the entire market up. As we go into close, Apple is up 8% on pace for its best day since June of 2020. We're going to go over the earnings. We're going to talk about the technical analysis behind it and ultimately where I think Apple is going to be going in the next couple of months. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out our Discord community down below. It's completely free. The link is in the description. You guys get access to free courses, free live streams, free seminars, free webinars we are an army of traders over 9,000 strong and our goal is to help the 95 percent of traders who fail the link is in the description come join the army and i'll see you there apple had earnings yesterday eps was a dollar 29 versus a dollar 27 so they did beat revenue was 90.15 billion versus 88.9 billion which is up 8.1 percent year over year so the fact that there is growth in revenue for the company is just very solid given the economic uh, condition iPhone revenue was 42.63, which did come in light, but still is up 9.6% year over year. Mac revenue was 11.5, which was up 25%. iPad was down 13%. Other product revenues was actually up 10%. Services is up 5% and gross margins came in just basically as expectations came through. Now, Apple did not give guidance, which is a good and a bad sign uh, in my personal opinion. So not giving guidance is bad, sort of, because when you look at it, they're not confident enough to actually give guidance. But it's also not a bad thing because they could have just given poor guidance, tried to be safe, and the stock probably would have taken a hit. So pretty good numbers, to be quite honest. Now, does it mean that the stock should be up probably 8%, 9% where it was earlier? I think that's a little much, but still, given the look at the rest of big tech earnings, Apple's has been the best so far, obviously, and that's why Apple is up so much right now. Let's take a look at the bigger time frame charts for Apple. Looking at the daily, I'm sorry, looking at the weekly chart to start. Stochastic RSI cross to the upside, holding here. It's looking like if we can hold this level, we should see Apple push up another 7% going into probably the end of the year and looking here that mid November, this is actually probably when we should hit that. I still don't believe we're going to push to all time highs. I said this in a lot of my other videos, but I think spy is going to run back up to 400, probably get rejected, move back down to 357. and looking at Apple. I assume that would follow suit as well. Looking like Apple will probably try to move up about 6% before ultimately getting rejected and probably testing 135 one more time. So really good day for Apple, but in my opinion, I don't think that we're going to just completely recover. And if we look at the smaller time frame, which is the daily, still big time frame, but not as crazy as the weekly, we have a big 200 SMA resistance here at 156 and an even bigger resistance up at 160. So I think it will be very hard for Apple to get through that 156 and 160 level, but if it can, next spot would be 170, 172, 175, and even 177. So those could be some levels for you to watch. In my opinion, I love this company long term, but it's not a company I'm buying at this point. It's not a company that's on sale. It's not a deal. It's not even that far from all time highs, to be quite honest. If we actually just go through and take a look at Apple here on the everything money software, which I do really love for long term investors in the past year, the stock is actually up 2.3%. And so, yes, Apple is still leading the big tech. But in my opinion, it's not like you're buying it at a huge deal or a massive discount the way that you would be buying Meta or even Amazon at this point. So for me, I'm not buying, but really good numbers. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're an investor or a trader, how you feel about Apple. Let me know if you caught some massive profits on this bad boy today. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section. As always, thank you for all the support, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.